Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2017 general reading. This is intended to be a monthly reading. Whatever comes up will come up. This may or may not resonate for you as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled the four decks you saw in the middle for you before hitting record. And I asked um, my guides about you before I started and I think that there's a lot of smoothing out going on okay because I just kept having to smooth things out and the word came out came out smoothing out so we'll keep what, see what comes up and I do have to warn you I can't talk at all today or yesterday or the day before so there's something going on where I can't get the words out right Okay, so this is for the sign of Leo for the month of October. I got a new deck over the weekend when I went to Salem. And I happened to be looking at it before I started reading. I opened it up and I was going through it. And one of the cards that I pulled out and looked at was this one. And I only looked at, like, not very many. The one that I can remember is this one. And, um, and the Three of Swords, I remember that one too. But anyway, this is the Three of Cups, and that's the basis of your reading, okay? The Three of Cups can mean a lot of things. Now, this is the basis of your reading for the month of October. It can mean a celebration. It can mean the end of any difficult times, you know? It's a time to celebrate. You've, you've gotten to the other side of anything. You know, things are smoothed out at that point, you know? It can also mean a third-party situation, all right, where there's another person involved. Um, so we do have another three right next to it, which is the three of pentacles. So this is about, um, you know, it's a collaboration. It can also be a third person. It's teamwork, working as a team. So it could be you and another person. We're finally working as a team, okay? And that gives you cause to celebrate. Um, I do see things have been moving, um... Slowly, I think things have been moving slowly as of late, but I see some fast energy as well. So we have some, some, um, you know, we have the Eight of Wands right here. That's a very fast moving energy against this Knight of Pentacles who is very slow moving. All right. So here you are, Leo, and that is next to this Knight of Pentacles, which is a slower moving energy, but it's somebody who always has a plan. All right. So... I do see that there's some tension. There's some tension somewhere. Maybe a little, there's some petty arguments, I think. And I think right here with this Four of Cups, some, there's a missed, op, missed opportunity in love. So maybe somebody's not accepting your love or you're not accepting somebody else's love. There's a missed opportunity for emotional support in some way. Either you're not giving it or you're not getting it. All right. Uh, some parts are going to resonate with some and other parts are going to re resonate with others. It looks to me, however, that things are, are, for a lot of you, things are looking up. Okay. I think, think there's a, it's an end of a diff any difficult situation that you've been in. I think that things are starting to smooth over if you've had troubles. I see that you're, you are um, healing, okay? I see satisfaction, I see grace, I see tact, I see beauty, I see strength. And I just feel like you are feeling very satisfied this month. There may be some addictions, okay? Um, and they could be holding you back in some way. There could be some addictions that are holding you back. Um, 
and this is saying this card right here is saying to remember to be practical especially with money try not to overindulge because this is an overindulgent and this is of money okay so if you come into some money try not to overindulge because this is an overindulgence okay and this is also a very egotistical card as well and it's right next to this overindulgence so just be very careful with that um this is also uh, this is the hierophant this is a blockage this is um can mean listen to hold on a minute listen to your inner guide okay can mean so many things it can also signify a marriage so some of you may be um, going to a wedding or getting engaged i see there's there's a lot of uh, wish fulfillment here so i think things are probably moving forward for you in a very good way i mean it looks like there's a lot of happiness here a lot of vibrancy i think there's just things are finally coming to fruition you're starting to finally see growth where you planted your seeds okay it, it looks really good now we have three threes threes are three 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 threes are your prayers have been heard okay it is a time of growth um, and it's the threes also tell me that you have to remove all that no longer serves you and I think that you are because like I said at the beginning of the reading I heard smoothing things out or smoothing things over I think that's exactly what is going on I think that you so things are just um, becoming very at ease I mean uh, what's the word for it balanced all right I think that things are becoming more balanced in your life and it's because you're listening I think you are listening to your inner guide just keep doing that and and try not to overindulge if you get the urge okay because I think you feel the need to celebrate the need to celebrate is in the middle of your reading okay so I think that you're you're feeling really good perhaps you're coming into some money this month. Um, it looks like you have a lot of money around here and and feeling very abundant, okay? Um, you're successful, respected. Happy. But so there is this missed opportunity in love, so I'm not sure what that is. Either somebody's not accepting your support or you're not accepting support from somebody or you want emotional support from somebody and you're not getting it. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, could, yeah, it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. We do have Sagittarius here. There's not a lot of major arcana in this pull. There's only three, okay? So that tells me that this is all up to you this month. This month is, so when you the more majors you have, the more universal um, help you have, the more spiritual help, there's, there's more divine guidance, the more major cards. You only have three, you could have a lot more. Some have mostly, when you have a lot, it says that um, there's a lot of spiritual guidance here. This month is you doing the work. It's you. And I see, see that you have been. I think that you're releasing fears that you've had. And you're releasing negative thoughts. And um, I, there's a lot of positive happiness here. And I feel like you feel like you are have the need to celebrate. I think your life is becoming more balanced and smoothed out. I do. Um, and I think it's because you've really taken the time to go within and refocus and look at things from another perspective, okay? And I think that once you did that, you started things started to smooth out very quickly, okay? I think you might be working as a team with somebody. Um, and, you're, and I think there's a, there's a lot of recognition here, okay, for the hard work that you have done.
Page of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is hasty energy. It's kind of like um, somebody who is very opinionated, comes in very harshly, and just causes havoc. Um, there could be some of that going, could happen very quickly. All of a sudden, everything is quiet, then all of a sudden, boom, somebody comes in and tries to shake things up with their words, okay? There could be some hasty mouthiness, all right? But I see you as, I see you as being victorious over it when it comes in, just smooth, being smooth. There's definitely smoothness, smoothness here, okay? Um... I do see that some of you have a deep attraction with somebody that you either could be with now or um, they could be coming in. This could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Um, you could have a choice between two people, uh, and you just don't know. That's what this could be, is you just don't know what to do now that these other cards came up, all right? Maybe you have a choice or your partner has a choice between two people because we do have this three of cups here. Somebody might have a choice between two people. Um, just saying. This right here, the seven of pentacles, is about dreaming about something. And and finally, the growth that I was talking about, it's, it's envisioning your future, your investments and things coming into play, everything that you have planned for because I see that you have made these plans and they're finally starting to come to fruition all right um and i think that you have just totally taken control of the, of your life and things are going very smooth at this time um for a lot of you this four of swords up here says that you're, you might be feeling defeated in some way so i'm not sure who this is for but this is kind of like you know i might you might be feeling like a victim or feeling like you've been hurt really bad in some way and you just need time to be alone and and go through this process whatever it is um, I think that there's a need for recuperation and we have it here and here and maybe you've already done this or a lot of you already have but there's a need to recuperate could be from some overindulgences I'm not sure what it is. Um, there's a blockage of some sort. There's a blockage. And I'm not sure what that is. We do have the emperor here. That's about power and control. You can't control the situation and you're trying to. You're trying to keep it smooth. Yep, yep, you're trying to keep it smooth. I think that there, there's something going on and you know what it is. You know what it is. There's something going on or you feel like something is going on which is causing you to hold back emotionally, okay? You're trying to keep things just as smooth as possible and constantly trying to smooth things out. I think there's been some turbulence, put it that way. And there's a need for recuperation, then there's happiness again, and then there's turbulence, and then there's storm. So you know what I'm trying to say? So it looks like they, there's a kind of like a back and forth kind of thing. All right. Um, there has been some turbulence, and I think that your beauty, your confidence, your courage, and your strength has prevailed. And your tact and your grace, I just see you this month, you being very tactful and graceful, all right? Um, and remaining in complete control with this card. Um, it's not like you didn't plan for this. You saw, you, whatever this is, you, it, you, you, you've planned for it. It should go smoothly. It's not like you didn't... Um, plan for it okay this page of cups is new love and this is an attraction so there could be a resurgence of a relationship or there's a new welling of emotion if you're with somebody if you're not there could be somebody that comes in could be a Tor uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo Pisces Cancer Scorpio Libra Aquarius Gemini could be an Aries um, Either way, the basis of your reading is the Three of Cups, which is either a celebration of some sort or something to do with your friends, where your friends come into play somehow, or where they, even your friends could be the ones that hook you up with this person if you aren't with somebody yet, okay? 
um, but you could be you're resisting it somehow in some way the love that you seek is um, not being accepted not being offered not being seen something like that somebody isn't um, something isn't right put it that way something isn't right whereas you know there could be a there could be a, a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo in the picture okay or that could just be your thoughts okay that could just be your thoughts this person right up here you know that person is very vindictive so there could be some vindictive energy here and it could happen very quickly out of the blue with this eight of wands just saying um, this page of cups is about new love all right can also be a very intuitive person so your intuition could be right on and you or, or you think it is anyway all right so there's there's definitely something going on with this five of wands right here it's like there's some drama and it, like I said it's turbulence there's turbulence and you're con you feel I feel like you're constantly having to smooth things out okay um, there could be children involved with these pages, okay? There could be children in the picture that are um, part of the family that you need to keep in control. You need to keep this whole situation under control. But I think that you are because I see teamwork right here. I, there's, there is some teamwork. And I'm not sure. That could be with friends as well because this is a general reading. It's for hundreds and thousands of people. There could be teamwork with your friends. There could be teamwork with a parent. There could be teamwork with um, your lover. Or there could be a third party situation that you don't know about or you do know about know about and you're not and you're ignoring it you know what I mean you couldn't know about it um, yeah let's get the other deck yeah I think that you there's been some ups and downs there's been, there's been times when you just need to rest, things are too heavy, and then it goes to happiness, and then it goes to heavy again, and then it goes to, like I said, smoothing things out. That's a big deal this month, okay? There could be, you know, this third-party situation could be a boyfriend, you and your mother, for example. Could be your girlfriend, your best friend. And you, you know, it can be mean so many things. It could, it's third, somebody is involved and it's causing havoc, okay? Could be a child in you and your partner and there's constant, there's a constant need to smooth things out. There could be some hasty words, things that people regret. Ten of swords, oh boy. Six of Pentacles, the need for balance. And I think that you are constantly trying to keep things balanced. The Hangman. Five of Wands, you have that one twice. Three of Wands. Things finally starting to happen for you. Could be travel. Seven of Cups. Choices. Somebody might have another choice. I just have to tell you. It might be you. It could be somebody else. This is be careful what you wish for. For what you own owns you. So be careful. This message comes up for a reason. Think twice. Whatever comes into your head that you that is prominent, that is big, that is a decision, think twice before you make it. Okay? The Five of Wands, it looks like there's a lot of drama this month. And I'm not sure what that's about, but there's definitely some drama. And somebody could be, be withholding emotion because of the drama. Okay? it's a It does. That's what it looks like. I mean, it looks like there's some ego issues here. Okay? There is some ego issues. Somebody might be feeding their ego. Um... There's a, there's a decision that's going to be made, and you're really going to have to think twice about what that, uh, how you're going to handle it, how you're going to smooth that one out, 
okay because there's a lot of drama behind it so beware there's a lot of drama this ten of swords comes out when there's a disappointment it's over this libra gemini aquarius and it probably this disappointment comes in quickly out of the blue so whatever it is there's it's, there's going to be some drama probably at the beginning of the month but I think that you are going to be victorious with this Six of Wands. You could receive some communication that causes the drama, you know, or it's drama from the get-go, and it has to do with your partner, all right? Um, just saying. This Six of uh, Pentacles is about balance and harmony and be maining in control of the situation. I think you are. This month, I think that you are just trying to remain in complete control. You don't want to lose it. I think that you are acting in grace and tact and poised. I think you are being very, very poised. And I think you, a lot of you feel the need to celebrate. I do see that there's money coming in, okay? So I don't see there, there's a lot, I don't see a lot of struggling here. I think there's money coming in in October, and I think you've been waiting for this money, whatever it is. The hey man is about resisting a change, for, and that's what this is. There has been a resisting a change here, and that's why there's been a need for recuperation and rest. There's something that is being resisted, and um, this card says you must struggle through this, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you are resisting changing, this is saying it's time to struggle through it. It's time to let it go. Okay? It's causing you some stress. It's causing you some stress. So whatever it is, it could be a thought that's blocking you from this love down here. Okay? Because it could be. It could be something is blocking you. It's, you are resisting something that is, that is holding you down. Okay? Your expectations could be too high, okay? Your expectations could be too high. So just, I'm just saying, that your expectate that, and it's bringing you down because your expectations are too high. Maybe you need to, um, I don't want to say lower your expectations because that's not, I see that you have very high expectations, okay? Um, and you may need to, Reevaluate those expectations, okay? Reevaluate the expectations. Um, because you're resisting a change. Yeah, everybody evolves. We all evolve. I see that there's a change that needs to happen, and you're resisting it. But once you stop resisting it, it will bring a lot of happiness to your life. A lot. Um, Interesting. The Ten of Swords is a completion. It's the end of a thought, okay? So that could be a big deal, the end, end of a thought that you've been carrying around, that you've been resisting letting go. Maybe you're going to seriously let go of this thought. And that takes back complete control of your life when you do that. You're in control and you know that. It brings the balance back. It brings the harmony back. It makes you feel the need to celebrate. This could be a celebration, okay? And it's and it, this is it's like everything you've been waiting for, but for some reason you've been resisting it so much, okay? And it's caused it's caused some drama. I see some turbulence, and I think that this month, I mean, it, it's about uh, letting go of a thought. Once you do, everything changes because we have victory right next to it. You are limitless interesting number four 
You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. At times we are too close to a situation and can only see things from one perspective. Yeah, you need to look at something from another perspective. There is a multitude of possible outcomes to this situation. <laughs> Absolutely. That's why it was so much. It's the truth. There is a multitude of possible outcomes to this situation. I see it 100%. Take a broader outlook. Release the need to control what is happening. <laughs> There's a lot of control right here. Yeah, you are being, you want to remain in control. Whew. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner knowing to assist you. And that's your inner guide. It's all right here. It's, that's fucking unbelievable. Things always work out as they should. <laughs> you are limitless. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. At times, we are too close to a situation and can only see things from one perspective. There is a multitude of possible outcomes to this situation. Take a broader outlook. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner knowing to assist you. Things always work out as they should. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why I could see so much. It's just, wow. That's what I have for you. Boy, that was a long one, huh? Talk to you later.